Jose Canseco, who is best known as the former superstar professional baseball player, has managed to snag some pretty luxurious real estate, including a pair of homes in Florida, California, and one in Las Vegas. In addition, Jose Canseco opened his own car wash called Jose Canseco Showtime Car Wash. Unfortunately, Canseco's well-documented financial issues had the expected effect on his real estate holdings. In 2008, he was reported to have lost his 2.5 million 7,300 square foot mansion in the Encino area to foreclosure. Years later, in 2015, he was reportedly living in Las Vegas and was said to be opening up his home to 10 lucky fans in Twitter sweepstakes. This was also the home where he famously shot his hand. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a house tour that you do not want to miss. In these videos, we don't reveal any addresses, so please do not show up at any private residences because it is not safe for anyone. Jose Canseco has had quite the memorable career both on the field playing professional baseball and after his retirement garnering a net worth of $800,000. Canseco was eventually plagued by injuries and after his retirement became a fan favorite for his reality TV stardom, eccentric statements, and tell-all book about his career in baseball that was published in 2005. Juiced, Wild Times, Rampant Roids, Smash Hits, and How Baseball Got Big. In the book, Jose claims that majority of the Major League Baseball players use steroids openly throughout the 80s and 90s. He has since become a bit of a controversial figure in the world of sports and is alienated from most of his former baseball friends and teammates. During his career, Jose earned $45 million in salary before taxes and fees. In 1990, Jose signed a five-year $23.5 million contract with Oakland. That's the same as around $46 million today. And while Jose peak salary was the $5.8 million he earned from the Boston Red Sox in 1990. Inflation is something crazy, man. $23 million in the 90s is now $46 million today. I mean, we gotta look into this or something. Like many athletes, Jose spent his money nearly as quickly. In recent years, he has claimed to no longer even be a millionaire. Canseco has also spoken publicly about the financial impact of his divorce, telling Inside Edition back in 2008 that his divorce cost him between seven and eight million dollars, contributing to his financial problems at the time. More recently, Jose has gone on to become a reality TV star, boxer, and mixed martial artist. In addition, Canseco opened a business in his adopted city of Las Vegas, Nevada, Jose Canseco Showtime Car Wash, with elaborate decor and memorabilia calling back to highlights from Canseco's long career in baseball. He has also tried to recoup earnings after he lost his house to foreclosure by opening his Las Vegas home for fans in a Twitter sweepstakes. What's going on guys? I am Clyde Smith and today we are bringing you another house tour right here on Famous Entertainment. Now, I did notice about 95% of you watching aren't subscribed, so please be sure to hit that subscribe button because we do post a new video daily. If you like these videos, ring that bell for notifications, follow me on the gram, and as per usual, let me know whose house tour is next in those comments down below. Alright, let's get into this video. Prior to Jose Canseco's financial problems, he had owned a pair of homes in Weston, Florida. Canseco's first Weston home was sold to J. Howard Lynn in August of 2000 for $3.5 million. The home has recently been listed again for $9.9 million. The home features a nearly 12,000 square foot estate on over three waterfront acres. The home comes with a number of luxe features, including a 5,000 square foot sports complex, including an indoor racquetball and basketball court, sauna, gym, and tanning rooms. Canseco's second and much smaller Weston home was sold in 2002 to professional baseball player Dimitri Young for $1.5 million. Young then sold it to its current owners in 2006 for $2 million. In an interview with Sports Illustrated, Canseco claimed at one point he had five homes, while the Weston homes alone combined for a whopping 22,000 square feet. It had four acres, a 500 square foot gym, a waterfall, lagoon, pool, caves, jacuzzi, ponds, all over the place. And I was alone in there. The most miserable time I've ever had. The most depressed I've ever been was in that house. During the peak of Jose Canseco's financial problems, he owned a pair of homes in Encino, California. In 2008, he was reported to have lost his $2.5 million 7,300 square foot mansion in the Encino area to foreclosure. Canseco claimed that it did not make financial sense to keep that home. While Canseco's second Encino home was recently listed in 2020, the English country style home was owned by Canseco up until the mid-2000s and was recently listed for 
$2.5 million, which was about $1 million more than what it sold for this last summer. The property features a securely gated fence and well landscaped grounds with rolling lawns. The two story home catches the eye with a brick and stone exterior lined with elegant Latisse windows. A pair of stone lions frame the double door entry, leading into its 5,000 square feet of updated interiors. Highlights of the lavish abode include a foyer with a sweeping staircase touched nicely with an elegant chandelier. The home features a living space under the coffered ceilings that come complete with sleek furnishings and a cozy fireplace. The dining room features paneled walls and is decked out with custom fixtures and fittings. Canseco's Eden Kitchen features stainless steel appliances, marble countertops, and an island perfectly centered in the room. The kitchen is touched nicely with a breakfast nook, butler's pantry with more room than you know what to do with, and a tile backsplash. In addition, the main level and master suite feature dual bathrooms and dual sinks, step up soaking tub that boast spectacular views and a large standing shower, perfect for relaxation. In addition, the master suite features a sleek fireplace, private balcony access, and dual closets that are big enough to pose as additional rooms in this gigantic house. As glamorous as the interior of the home is, the exterior features a terrace that hangs off the back of the four bedroom, five bathroom home. The terrace is connected via a descending spiral staircase to a spacious patio and swimming pool and spa area. In addition, the backyard features a barbecue area, fire pit, enclosed hot tub area, and outdoor kitchen, perfect for entertaining guests. Back in 2014, Jose Canseco was famously injured in an accidental shooting at his Las Vegas, Nevada home after he was cleaning his gun when it unexpectedly fired and blew off his left hand middle finger. A year later, Jose Canseco came up with the idea to run a fantasy camp out of his house this summer where he would teach hitting and fans would get to meet the guy who shot off his finger. While while cleaning his gun. The price was $5,000 for the stay. The five bedroom home was located about eight miles from the strip. The home featured a number of unique features, including a formal entry that featured a naked woman statue, the marble hallway that leads to a large living room dominated by a 74 inch TV, plus two more naked ladies, an eagle, and two elephants, all statues by the way, all statues. Guy likes his statues, I mean, what can you say? The living room featured a gold tinged chair, a bar in his kitchen, and a abundance of poker tables and unique murals throughout the home. The backyard features a pool and spa that come complete with an additional bar, barbecue area, fire pit, jacuzzi, and entertainment system perfect for entertaining. So Jose, am I getting an invite to this pool party or what? In 2019, Jose Canseco made headlines after opening his car wash. Jose Canseco Showtime Car Wash features a DMV service window, windshield repair, and a 24-hour gas station. Guests can enjoy a massage while they wait for their car repairs. Jose has been known to drop by and sign autographs for the fans. All right, so I think I'll bring this house tour to an end right here. We got to take a quick look at Jose Canseco's homes. After seeing all the homes he snagged, what did you think? Was that everything that you would expect out of Jose Canseco? I mean, personally, I'm a huge fan of that former Encino home. Out of all of Canseco's features, which one were your faves? You guys can even go ahead and let me know in the comment section down below. My name is Clyde Smith, and I'll see you guys in another video. Thank you.